Let's see how it goes. This is going to be a very interesting set. I don't know how 2 is off. Like, because Nairo doesn't really typically come out to uh, in-region stuff. Meanwhile, E is always fiending. This man travels the globe. Yeah, I was about to say, as of late, he has just been the world warrior. He is all over the place in his search to really find his spot in this game. And he's starting to have his results show for it. But in home, a lot of people know how he fights. See how these two fare off. Palutena versus Lucina is no stranger to regular viewers of tri state events. Oh my god, the cleanest of zero to deaths right there, though, by Nairo. Alright, we got some damage on the board now. Denying the plats from Palutena is going to be really important for me because it's going to make uh, landing for Nairo just that much more difficult. And if Nairo's forced to make harder decisions, pay the price of percentage. Oh, wow, catching the tech right there. Really, really good stuff by Nairo right there. Nairo's coverage so far has been crazy, crazy good. He has really not been able to get his footing whatsoever, and Nairo's just been threatening so much against him. This is really a different breed of Palu than that than he is used to in Tri State. Right. With uh, Jen and Utopian Ray and Frozen too. Tri State's got a lot of Palus. I'll be gone. <laughs> Yo, he tried to do the fancy work and I was like, nah. He's like, you think you're coming to, to Palutena's heaven? Nah, son, you're going right to Hades. You yeah. out. <laughs> I think that's actually gonna be one major adjustment that he's gonna have to make is going on going on lines of fighting like Nairo, not just fighting Palutena. Yeah. Because, like, there's so many ways that you can tweak what you do against the character that it, I feel like she lends herself well to a, a big variety of places. He has been a far more patient player as of late. I've seen him really tone down how aggressive he's been going in. So it, I feel like he's going to need to turn it up because Nairo's been pushing his advantage super duper far every single time he gets it. You know, he's been really only been able to get these little chip hits in. That being said, though, Oh, we're not going to catch it right there. He's doing a fine job covering ground considering he just came off of getting uh, zero to death at the start of the match. Edo's starting to find his footing. The, one of the best uh, aspects of E's play, I'd say, is his ledge trapping. He's super, super good at just calling out what you're doing immediately. He is, but I would say, like, to the, to the other side of that, Dyro's decision-making skills... Godlike. Like, he knows every option available to him, and he has such a good habit of picking, like, what's going to work out the best for him, what's going to get him out safest, or even better, uh, better so, giving him options to turn a reversal. Because if Lucina's already committed to pressing buttons on you, and you're in position to just blow her up over it, that's so much ground to cover on such little effort. Now we're getting caught right there in the grab, unfortunately. He's starting to make this ground up just a little bit. He's, he's been pressing the gas, like I said, he should have been. He just collected his data, and now he realizes this is one set. <laughs> Not the greatest DI off that Nair. No, even Nairo was like, man, really? He held in. Yeah, holding in against that uh, Nair is no bueno. You will fly straight up. Not hold in on Palu Nair, bro. Either no DI hit or just, <laughs> just do something else, please. Wait wait till it sends you in the direction you actually need to go in, then you can figure it out. All right, quick shake from E. Get himself back away. He needs to be in it if he wants to try and turn around game two because that was a very fast game. He had a sign of life, though. He had some signs of life back in him. Like, he was able to take those two stocks off of Nairo pretty oh, nicely. Oh, no. <laughs> but, bro. Yo, the slow walk to grab to start it off. I thought Nairo was going to go for it all right there. Nairo just being able to get himself out of these sticky situations with these really well-placed bears. This is a great stage for Lucina, but I feel like this is so good for Palu. It's godlike for Palu. Like, a very interesting choice for E. I feel like he would have been more at home with E. One thing I do want to see E go for more are stage spikes off of Palu's teleport. Uh, you can you can two-frame it pretty reliably or just catch her out of the teleport depending on the angle she teleports at. There's really no danger for E going off stage. I understand he does want a ledge trap, but, but catching some of these would be pretty beneficial to him. Also, my man's, my man's has to start dealing with these air dodges. I think E not exhausting all of his options so early on might be a good thing. You want to keep some surprises fighting against the likes of Nairo, because you know if you hit him once for it, he's not gonna, like he's, he's not gonna get tricked again. My man kept him on the ledge though, man on a ledge the entire time. And yeet. I thought, I thought it would be a yeet. 
Oh, it's, it's a delete. Yeah, there's the back air. The nicest. You do it. You, both these players just really doing a good job of knowing when their opponent doesn't have a true follow up and, and just acting accordingly after at a disadvantage. Sometimes you just gotta make a call. Out. He has also not been really giving up too much space. Like the Nairo's just been pinned at this corner the entire time. That being said, excellent spot dodge right there. I, I love these auto reticles to kind of check the approach and force him. Like Nairo has been forcing E to slow it down this entire set. No jump left. There, he's dead. Hey, hold on. That's what I would yeah. say. <laughs> Never sleep on Dolphin Slash. You crazy? The Nair didn't send him far enough. Like, ED it really, really well. Ooh, nice, great weight right there in the up air. It's just like you mentioned, man. That little bit of patience that he's ingrained into his play, it throws people off because you don't expect it. Expect this man to mash his brains out, but nah. Like, the, the hamster is... You know, he might have the hamster and the wheel on his head, but Yo, that, that hamster is a Harvard overdrive. scholar. Overdrive hamster. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be contesting there. Oh, my God. All right. Oh. <laughs> Yo, the single hit. <laughs> Let me ask you, Fink. Did you, did you survive that? Did you know you were only going to hit with single flame? Nope. All right. Yeah, all right, good. We both lost stocks on that. <laughs> we definitely both lost. The whole chat. Press one if you lost your stock there. <laughs> Press two if you lost your stock there. Yeah, don't lie to us. Press three if you're a liar. <laughs> Press four if you're enjoying the stream. All right, we're back at the ledge. There's that downer that you wanted. We're back at the character select screen. Yeah, was, <laughs> not the character you wanted to see it from. Nairo <laughs> taking the game two. And this is, way. this is winner's side top 16, so I believe this is a top eight qualifier maybe. No, this is a quarters yet. Is it, oh, is we it got quarters? Confirmation, this is top eight qualifier. This is, qu right, winner's, this is winner's quarters. This tournament's been really running hella well. Yeah, man. Put respect on the name. Jersey, do it nice. Let's see. Back to Smashville. Can he bring awesome some game. life into this set for him? Because he's been playing it well, but Nairo just steps ahead of him. So many 3-0s today. There's been a lot of 3-0s, but they've all been hella <laughs> parentheses close, though. Dude. I like how E waited there to try and potentially catch uh, Nairo's snap to ledge right there. E even at disadvantage, he's still thinking about ways to where he can at least get some damage in there. But probably one of the credits of E as a player is that he puts so much active thought into what he wants to do. Oh my god, oh. active thought. Active thought, very active. Yeah, I didn't say he was correct. You know what else is active? That, that hitbox, that shit lasts for That's 18 facts. frames. That up smashes 18 frames of active hits. Bonkers. I've made sandwiches in that time. Yo, N Nairo did a thing that I think is Jesus. like no other Palutena is doing right now. Rar Nair for extending your combos. Yeah. Because of course you're thinking how, how you want to DI that move. You just bring yourself right in for more combo potential. And E needing to dig deep here because Nairo's momentum is in, is in full effect right now. Wow, that was so smart by Nairo forcing him to commit there. Simple jabs, not enough for Mr. E. He needs to do something about this stock. I feel like fighting Nairo in a situation like this is just, it, it's it terrifying. Must, it must feel insurmountable at times. Because he's moving like he's so smoothly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's schmoving. He is, but it's it's the ma it's the matter that like it's, it's the so manner he carries himself in while he's doing that movement, though. Like it, it, he's displaying such aggression. Oh my God! There's there's nothing I could say to describe that other than God damn! Holy crap! Patience of a saint. He had the timing down perfectly. That that is also he guessed what time he was going to be pressing all of those buttons. This set is over, Hangman. I don't want to hear it. After that, there's no coming back from that. Gotta start somewhere though if you're trying to build it back up. He's finally taking a stock out of this game three, but I'm not gonna lie, it, it's it's looking grim after that. Shades of Evo moment, bro. That was wild. Back there, reset up the ledge play. He even went for the downer. You don't, you don't have to do it too much. He's now. confident and he knows that he's able to time it correctly with the right spacing. Yeah, Nairo when he plays like this is a Nairo that reminds you that like that he can win the biggest of tournaments. That's gonna be an E. Putting up a very good effort, but Nairo just steamrolling. So much aggression, so much pressure. 
It, I, I agree with you say that it can truly feel insurmountable because you're kept guessing so much, and at that point, it's like you're, you're playing a guessing game, but the guessing game has giant hands that can punch you, and you die. Man's got his salad toast. <laughs> 20 questions, but if you, if you lose... You just get tough. They just pull out a gun and shoot you. This is a very grim game. I don't want to play games with you no more.